Today, we are staying at the Plaza Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas. We will give you our review of our stay, including a room tour, the pool area, the casino, various food options, and all the amenities. Be sure to stay till the end to find out if the Plaza is the right hotel for you on your next visit to Las Vegas. It was pretty late by the time we arrived at the Plaza. We stayed on a Friday and Saturday night, and when you include the price of the room, taxes, fees, and the resort fee, it came to just about $340, which was comparable to other hotels in the Fremont Street area. Well, hello there. Come on in. So we got here, and it's almost one in the morning here in Las Vegas time. And so when we got here, the basic king room that we had booked, uh, the only one they had left was the handicapped room. So here we are in the handicapped room. All right, so you got king size bed and very wide aisles for walking. And a lot of things are in kind of weird spots and very low, but you've got your basic closet fridge, and a large bathroom with all the typical amenities, plus some grab bars. I suppose that's also helpful if you've indulged a little too heavily. The room was pretty basic, but overall seemed clean and in decent condition. The bed was comfortable as well. We did, however, see some small things, like the shower, that should be addressed. Our next stop is the rooftop pool deck. If you are a guest, you will need your key card for entry. And there is a person at the desk if you have any questions or would like a pool towel. Once you step outside onto the pool deck, you will find the pickleball courts. These can be reserved for free for hotel guests or $30 for non-hotel guests. You can also rent equipment if needed. The pool deck itself is quite spacious with plenty of lounge chairs that are free to use. The pool area also features a bar and a food truck. The drink prices were very reasonable. We ordered a hard seltzer and it was less than $5 and the food prices weren't too bad either. The swimming pool itself is not overly large, but it does have a shallow end for small children. On the day we were here, it was really hot around 100 degrees and the pool wasn't overly busy. According to the Plaza's website, day beds run around $150 and the sun loungers run $100. The private cabanas hold up to six people and cost $200. If you are not someone that likes to sit in the hot Las Vegas sun, there is a covered area with ample shade, something that can be hard to come by in other Vegas pools. Near the entrance, you will find the hot tub. Overall, this is a really nice pool deck area. The music was fun, not too loud, and there was more than enough places to sit, and the drinks were very reasonably priced. Now, we're gonna head on down to the first floor. We will begin back by the registration desk and move towards the gym. On the left, you will find the bellhop desk, where they will happily hold your bags after checkout or before check-in. This is actually a very nice gym and has a lot of things most wouldn't think about, like punching bags and medicine balls, along with the standard cardio machines like treadmills, rowers, and bikes. There is a wide selection of dumbbells and kettlebells and bench press racks. The food court area starts with a subway, which is open 24 hours per day, Thursday through Monday. The Mexican grill has tacos, quesadillas, burritos, nachos, and more, and it is open until midnight, Friday and Saturdays. In the gift shop, you can find your basic sundries and of course, Plaza logo clothing. Just Rice moved into where Aloha Hawaiian Grill used to be and features a wide variety of rice dishes, egg rolls, noodles, and more. Back up by the registration desk is where you can find the coffee bar. They feature standard coffee, tea, ice drinks, along with simple eats like breakfast sandwiches and of course, gelato. 
On the other side of the registration desk, you'll find the famous Hash Hash A Go Go restaurant. This sit down restaurant has a welcoming decor and serves huge portions. It's known as one of the best breakfasts on Fremont Street. There's a nice variety of sandwiches, as well as standard burgers, salads, and after five o'clock, dinners like pot roast grilled salmon and New York strip steak. They also have an extensive signature drink list, including Bloody Marys, margaritas, and mimosas. The casino has over 500 slot machines, along with roulette and crap tables. Table minimums for bets are around $10 to $15, depending on what you play. If you don't want to sit down at a live table, you can also sit at these machines and play them electronically. The Omaha Bar has standard gambling machines with progressive jackpots, along with quite a few TVs to watch your favorite sporting events. It is open 24 hours. If you'd like to play Kino, they have a section to the left of the Grand Staircase. And just past that is the Plaza Rewards Players Club, something everyone should do as they give match play and other rewards. The Sand Dollar Bar is open from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. daily. They have live music along with pool tables, pizza, and more. It can get a little noisy though, so keep that in mind. As we head south, you'll come to the South Tower Elevators. To the left, you will find Pop-Up Pizza. Pop-Up Pizza is a favorite spot for a quick bite that doesn't cost a lot of money. They have full pizzas you could buy, along with slices, mozzarella sticks, and garlic knots, just to name a few. Ooh, that crust is really good. It's light and flaky. Near the South Tower elevators, you will find the entrance to the William Hill Sportsbook bedding area, and the sports bar is directly across from it. Heading back to the front of the casino, we find Pink Box Donuts. This restaurant has become a go-to for anyone that comes to Fremont Street. The donuts start at around $2 for your more standard donuts and go up for there for some of the amazing specialty donuts that they offer. Needless to say, a great choice. Really good. Can't remember the name of it, but it's um, red velvet with cream cheese frosting. Cool. Very good. Making our way outside, we come across the Carousel Bar, which features Nevada's only outdoor video poker machines. The bar really comes to life at night, though, with the glittering lights floating above the bar. In June of 2023, the plaza opened the Brian Christopher Smoke Free Casino. Brian is a social media YouTube star that partnered with the plaza to open the only smoke-free casino downtown. It has over 2,500 square feet and 75 of the latest innovative games. There are also some great spots for photo ops. Now we'll make our way upstairs to the second floor. Here you'll find Oscar's Steakhouse and the plaza's wedding chapel. Oscar's Steakhouse is one of the premier steakhouses in all of Las Vegas, and they expanded a couple of years ago and now offer patio dining overlooking Fremont Street. Looking to get married in Las Vegas or maybe just renew your vows? The plaza has a wedding chapel. Prices start at just $99. FYI, the Elvis wedding package is $4.99. The third floor has an expansive bingo hall, a ballroom for conventions, the Las Vegas jerky store, and a UPS store in case you need to ship something home. The bingo hall is the only one in downtown Las Vegas and has 280 seats and six sessions per day. All right, so our, we're checking out of the plaza today and here's our last few thoughts on the plaza. First, if you can get it at a good price, it's not a bad place to stay. The location on Fremont Street for the Fremont Street experience is fantastic for that. Plus, there's a lot of great restaurants and things around here to do. Um, our only real complaint, and this is probably more just us, is that we were in the South Tower. And to get to the South Tower, you have to go through the casino. And the casino is 
rather smoky compared to a lot of casinos here in Vegas. So we didn't necessarily care for that, but we're kind of sensitive to the smoke. So if you're not really sensitive to it or you're a smoker yourself, probably not going to bother you at all. We thought the pool was pretty basic and utilitarian, but it did the job. Uh, it was comfortable. It was a great environment. The staff was really nice. So we liked all that. So overall, we'd say, yeah, if you can get a good price here at the plaza, definitely worth it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified of all of our upcoming videos as we wander the world.